My microphone's messed up. I think I might need a new mic. I don't want to buy a new phone. I might just have to buy a new microphone. I don't know. Now we'll see what happens. Okay. I picked all these up from a single solitary store. I want to say three to four weeks ago. And uh, let's see what we did. Let's see how we did. This is like literally my fifth time shooting this video. So let's see. Justice League number 21. This is probably one of the iffiest purchases uh, so far in 2021. <laughs> this was real iffy. So this is the sketch variant uh, from the New 52. So this is either Black Adam, Shazam, or Shazam's reintroduction into the DC Universe after they became the New 52 or whatever. And this is the sketch variant. I believe this is a 1 in 50, maybe. And this cost me $45. I was really on the fence as to whether I should have bought this or not. I guess I didn't want to leave it there just in case, just in case, just in case. I don't know, man. I don't know. But I didn't want to leave it there, so I bought it. And, uh, yeah, we're moving on. <laughs> we're moving on. Okay, what's next? All right, so we have... Betty number 46. Betty number 46. I uh, found this for a dollar. And this book here was, I think uh, it was Steve Horn, my man Steve Horn. He talked about this book. And let's see. Let's see why people are talking about D. Let's see why people are talking about D. So we have. Now this was this is freaky. This is really freaky. So you have Betty in the year 2021 going to school on her computer. Oh my god! <laughs> and on top of that, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that all-seeing eye. Like the first time I had seen this image here was in a tweet. Okay. Or some social or some post, you know what I mean? And for and I thought that this was somehow superimposed onto the image, but no, it's part of the comic. And that's even freakier. Why is that eye there? Stop it, stop it. But yeah. High school in 2021. <laughs> Freak show. So I forget, like, I know this book was hot however many weeks ago. But uh, I'm not quite sure about now, but I'm sure I'm sure nobody's going to pass it up for a dollar, right? So, Betty, number 46. All right, what's next? What's next? Marvel, 2-in-1, number 54. This is a beautiful-looking copy. I paid $10 for it. Now, at the time, I was kind of like, eh, do I pay $10? But seeing that this book... Uh, is I think this book is going for at least 50 especially in this condition So this was definitely a good buy so first appearance of Screaming Mimi, I believe. Oh crap. I think so, but look at the condition on that beautiful 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 uh, First appearance screaming Mimi who later becomes songbird of the Thunderbolts. All right. Yeah, so got that for Ten dollars now this this haul shouldn't run too long only because it's it's not a lot of books, so we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see what happens. <laughs> so, Amazing Spider-Man number two from the I believe this is a 2014 series, and this features the first appearance of Francine Fry. I talked about this book, I want to say in the last haul video, and uh, anytime I can find this, anytime I can find this book cheap, I'll do it. So Francine Fry later, she becomes Electro later on, um, but uh, this is her actual first appearance here. So and it's a second print, and it matches this blue matches the rest of the comic. Love it, love it, love it. All right, what's next? Okay, all right. So Marvel's Voices found this for two dollars. And this is Marvel's Voices, number one. So this is the first appearance of the Children of the Atom. I'm still trying to... I don't think... Do they all do all of the black characters in the Marvel Universe just hang out, like, all at once like that? I don't get it. And, uh... 
and so we have the black panther so the king of his own country his own african country is just hanging out at a uh, regular ass barber shop somewhere in the united states getting a lineup <laughs> okay all right oh and i'm just now noticing that uh miles is waiting to get a uh so miles is waiting to get a haircut as well okay all right that's okay okay so he doesn't have his mask he doesn't have his mask on he's out in public okay all right <laughs> this cover's stupid <laughs> but i got it for two dollars what is this book going for like maybe 30 to 40 all right okay all right and what is this is this a one in 25 it's a like i don't know i don't know i don't know what's happening with this book but anyway Ooh, i like this i like this i like this a lot so we have punisher number 219 second print punisher 219 second print so this is the first full appearance of the Punisher in his War Machine armor. And I, about a year ago, I came across two copies of this book that I bought. And at the time, it was kind of, um, it was kind of, I don't want to say iffy purchase, but there were no copies available. And I really didn't know what this book was going for. But cut to a year later and... Uh, this is an easy, easy, easy hundred dollar book. And I'm talking easy hundred dollar book. And I uh, found this for two bucks. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, what more did I want to say about this? Nothing much, but I'm just glad I found it for two bucks. And let's see. Let's see. Let's look at the uh, condition on this. Beautiful. Beautiful. I want to sneeze so bad because... I haven't taken these out of the original bags and boards, and oh my god, I'm really grossed out. Oh, but I, I've, I've come into so many books lately that just like, just rebagging or reboarding is just, it, that shit has been a drag. And I'm just kind of keeping them in the basement until I can take them out of the bag, uh, out of their bags, you know what I'm saying? Now, I'll recycle the boards, but... I'll definitely, like, get rid of the bags and replace them. But anyway, I'm moving on with uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Defenders number 112. Defenders number 112. I believe I found that for a dollar. Was it a dollar? Let's see. Let's take a look. Yeah, it was a duck. It was a dollar. And uh, so this is the first appearance of the Princess of Power. I know this book was hot, like, maybe a month ago. I don't know about now. I don't know about now, but... For a dollar, very happy to pick that up. Old Man Logan, number one, hip hop variant. This is a take on the Ice Cube, Ice Cube album cover. Every time I see this, I think about the uh, first few bars, or no, first few notes of uh, "Today Was a Good Day," or or the Isley Brothers. Put steps in the dark. I don't know. I mean, you know, either or, either or, either or, either or. But uh, yeah, Old Man Logan number one, it is, it's probably, it's definitely not a 9.8 because I'm seeing a tick right there, but it was $5. I'm like, all right, I'll pick it up. Why not? No, why not? Ooh, look at this. Take a look at this. Would you take a look at this? So we have Vengeance number one. So, all right, now, what did I want to say about this? Now, when I first saw America Chavez, I don't think anybody was really paying attention to the character. And I had noticed the, the character like on the cover of those uh, Young Avengers comics. And I'm like, who is this? And it turns out it was America Chavez. And I looked into the first appearance in, in, in Vengeance number one. And then I bought the, I believe it was the one in 40 variant. And I talked about that in a video. This was years ago, years ago. And then the book promptly took off. But the but this very but this version here, the first print, the regular cover, it still wasn't doing anything. It still wasn't doing anything. This was still like maybe this was still a cover price book, even though the variant was uh, worth something. And now this book here is an easy two hundred dollar book. And I'm talking easy, especially, you know, a nice high grade. And 
it's freaking me out because, again, I, the thought of paying cover price was too much. Like, this was a dollar book for the longest time. So, and there are just these certain books that I'm having a really, really, really hard time wrapping my head around them being worth more than what they are. You know what I mean? It's just, it's crazy to me. But, like I said, this is an easy $200 book. How much did I pay for this? I got this for $38. This was $38. And the condition on this is pretty decent. It's pretty decent. Is it a 9.8? I don't think so, because there's a few ticks here. There's a tick there. It's like a little bit of a, like a tiny, this is, this won't show up, but there you go. There's like a little thing right there, like a color break, a couple of color breaks along the spine there. I don't think it's a 9.8, but uh, for $38, uh, you bet your sweet ass I'm going to buy it. Actually, I take that back. I take that back again. Like I had a hard, I have a hard time wrapping my brain around this book being so expensive that, um, uh, it took me a minute to realize I should buy this for $38. <laughs> it took me a minute. It really did. It really did. But I, uh, but as you can see, I have it. And yeah, I got you for $38. All right. And this thing is a, it's like a $200 book. It's in this condition, easy $200. Easy. Easy. But anyway, we're moving on. We're going to show DC some love for once. Oh, boy. Okay, let's do these Wonder Woman covers. So we have Wonder Woman number 604, I believe. I Is this an Alex Garner variant? It's tough to say. I Maybe it is. Maybe. And there she is in her uh, new costume. I liked this costume. I didn't hate it. I didn't hate it. Okay, what's next? Wonder Woman. So I, I think I paid $6 for this, and I believe I paid $5 for number 605. Oh my God, I want to sneeze. <laughs> ah. so, these books are these books still in their bags are just burning the shit out of my nose. But uh, Wonder Woman 605. Uh, what's next? What's next? Wonder Woman 6. Wonder Woman 606. All right, Alex. Got, now that's an Alex Garner variant. Definitely. And another Alex Garner variant. Uh, Wonder Woman 611. So I, so I, these books range from $6 to 5 All right. And they these books used to be hot back in the day. These things were hot. Not, and not anymore, but I don't know. I guess I didn't want to pass them up for the price. All right. What's next? Now, if I had paid cover price, that definitely would have been better. Or at least like maybe, I don't know, $4. That would have been way better. All right. But anyway, what's next? What's next? What's next? What's next? Uh, let's do some romance. Turn the lights down low. It is time to get romantic. Okay, so we have Love Letters number 50 from Quality Comics. Okay, all right, it's all good. It's all good. Good looking cover. Good looking cover. Very old timey looking. Uh, how much was this? I paid seven. I think I paid like around, I think seven. I know I have the price on the back. Oh, yeah, I paid $7 for this. All right, okay. I have no clue what this book goes for, but for $7, why the hell not? Ooh, we got ourselves another romance book. I like this a lot. How much did I pay for that? Okay. Lovers number 50. This is a good-looking cover. This guy right here, he is really creepy-looking, but the rest of the cover is on point. I'm feeling it. I love it. Freaking love it. Dude got, dude got them old fish lips. But anyway, uh, what did I want to say about this? I paid $9, and this book is scarce. This book is super duper scarce. And uh, what more did I want to say about this the last time? Now, there are no copies of this book available on eBay, and I think the last time that this book sold was for, I want to say, $75 back in 2018. So about three years ago. So there's no telling what this book is worth now. Hell, <laughs> book could be going down. I don't know. I don't know. This is a nice, probably solid VG cover. But that's that's the best you can expect for a nice golden age book like this. So yeah, Lovers. What year is this from? What year is this from? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ooh. So this is from 1953. Nice romance book from 1953. 
And this lover's book, it, love letters book, is from 1956. So this is a early Silver Age, and this is a Golden Age right here. But yeah, lovers number 50, love, love, love this cover. Hell yeah! All right, what's next? Let's do some dollar books, shall we? Let's do some dollar books. We're rounding the bases, and we're heading home. Uh, what number is this? <laughs> Something is killing the children. Ugh. I forget what number that is, but it's a Virgin variant, Jenny Prison cover. Beauty number one, second print for a dollar. Okay, so either it's pronounced weird or word number one. A couple of months ago, they announced either a TV show or a movie of this. All right, it's all good. It's all good. But found that for a dollar. I don't think this book is going for as much as it was. But that's okay. I'm not going to pass it up for a dollar. Now, this is a book that I've had my eye on. So we have word number three. This is a Gabrielle Del Otto variant. And this can be found online for like, for cover price pretty much. This is a really, really cheap book, but I really like this cover. And the only reason why I didn't buy this online is because I just didn't feel like paying for the shipping. <laughs> that's pretty much it. But uh, the C1 for, out in the wild for cover price, well, for, shit, for a dollar, for a dollar. I'm like, oh, I'm all over that. I, I definitely have my eye on this. Canto, Canto number four, first print for, I believe that was either a dollar or two dollars. So I'm thinking a dollar. This was a dollar. This was a dollar as well. Canto number five. Uh, we got two copies of Ice Cream Man. Number number 13, these were $2 a piece. And uh, we got not one, not two. So we got three copies of Totally Awesome Hulk, number 15. Uh, how much was this? These were $2 a piece. And last but not least, Thor, number four, fourth print with Loki on the cover. I'm surprised this book really doesn't go for too much. But it should, just off a general principle. And that's my haul. I'm sticking with it. Hopefully the audio isn't too messed up. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. All right, bye.